today's video is basically going to be a propaganda film for BBC Radio 4 and BBC Radio 4 Extra because I love them. And if you saw the title and made it this far, then thank you very much because I know it's a bit counterintuitive watching a video about listening to the radio. But I promise you I'm going to give you lots of brilliant reasons why you should be listening to BBC Radio 4. Okay, the first reason I'm going to give you for listening to BBC Radio 4 and BBC Radio 4 Extra is the same reason that I actually started listening to it in the first place which is BBC Radio 4 Extra. It's basically like the Dave of the radio world. There are just repeats all the time. There's things that used to be on TV. You've got Dad's Army, you've got Step to and Son. And then you've got made for radio shows, so things like The Navy Lark, and I'm sorry I'll read that again. And I basically started listening to those at noon and got caught up in them. But after a while I got a bit bored, so I started buying radio plays online. And the first thing I got was Cabin Pressure. Okay, Cabin Pressure originally aired on BBC Radio 4, but now you can download all the series in the Christmas special on audiobook. And it's about a small private jet airline, and it stars Stephanie Cole, uh, Roger Allen, Benedict Cumberbatch, and John Finnemore, who also wrote it. And it's a great old school sitcom. Each week they fly to somewhere new, and they invariably get themselves into some kind of crazy scrape usually involving Benedict Cumberbatch, which is great because Benedict doesn't usually get to play those kooky comedy roles on screen, but John Finnemore is just absolutely brilliant as Arthur, and I really recommend you listen to it because it's just really good fun. Now the next reason I'm going to give you for listening to BBC Radio 4 is something called Bleak Expectations. It's actually finished now, but you can download all four series on audiobook, and it's just a brilliant, brilliant show. It's a basically a Dickens parody. And it's about this guy called Pip Bin and he's telling his life story and it comes out in typical Dickensian fashion and every joke you could kind of glean from that world comes out in the show. Um, Tom Allen and James Backman are in the leads and they're just fantastic and then you've got other people popping up in like David Mitchell and Adney Head. I cannot over exaggerate how funny this show is and how much you need to listen to it. Now the fact is I like a lot of comedy shows on BBC Radio 4 and BBC Radio 4 Extra for all sorts of different reasons but I do have a clear favourite and my favourite is anything that was written by the Penny Dreadfuls. Now the Penny Dreadfuls are a Victorian sketch troupe that consists of Humphrey Carr, David Reed and Tom Tuck. And for many years they did comedy shows and they took them to Edinburgh but a few years ago they did a radio show called The Brothers Faversham and they did a sequel called The More Brothers Faversham. And they basically work on that Victorian ideal of men being, you know, great detectives or great fighters or great explorers. And they do a parody of that. And each episode is a different Favisham brother. And it's just so well written. And the guys are so funny. I cannot over-exaggerate how funny this show is. You can't actually get it on audio, but you can listen to it on YouTube. And I'll put a link um, down there to the show. They recently started doing uh, historical specials. They did one on Guy Fawkes, then they did one on the French Revolution, but they did one just last year on Heroin the Wake. The show is fantastic. If you listen to nothing else I have said in this video, please follow the link I will put down there and download Heroin the Wake. It's only about 40 minutes long. It's not long out of your time. There's a lot of great comedy fiction shows on BBC Radio 4 and 4 Extra. There's also a lot of great comedy panel shows. And there's something that's actually on at the moment called the Museum of Curiosity. It was created by people who work for QI and it's actually presented by John Lloyd who created QI. And then Humphrey Carr is the curator. It's a really funny show. It's on on 6.30 on a Monday evening. But if you haven't got time to listen to it then, it's on on Sunday afternoon. Or you can always listen to it on iPlayer iPlayer. God, where would we be without iPlayer? The great thing about it though is if you're one of those people who think you can't actually sit down and just listen to a radio show, then you can always listen to shows on iPlayer or on audiobook through the computer and listen to them while you're doing something else. There are so many different ways you can listen to radio shows these days and I know because I have worked them all out. Now BBC Radio 4 Extra is actually a digital only channel so you can listen to it through digital radio, through the iPlayer, you can even listen to these channels through the Freeview TV or the Sky TV. I've even worked out a way to record radio shows on the Sky Plus. You can listen to radio on your phone. You can even just download audiobooks and listen to those on your phone or on the iPad. But this is actually my gadget of choice. This is a Q2 radio. It's a wireless internet radio and I have a radio station tuned to each side of the dice. And it was my 30th birthday present and I'm a bit in love with it. It fell about four feet into an empty bath this morning, and it survived!